So originally I was only planning on doing a short video unboxing this thick envelope that I received about a week after applying for my first ever business credit card, the Chase Inc. Business Unlimited. But I didn't think that I would do the video justice, so instead not only will I be unboxing my first ever business credit card and talk about it a bit, but then I'll also be talking about the next two credit cards that I'll be getting in 2023. So with that all being said, let's get into the unboxing of my new Chase Business Inc. Unlimited business credit card. I'm going to be honest here, when I first received this thick envelope, I actually didn't know what it could be. Up until this point, I hadn't applied for a credit card for more than over a year, so I don't even remember how credit cards were shipped. So I opened up the envelope immediately when I got it before I realized what exactly it was. And before we see what's inside this thick envelope, I just want to preference and say that yes, I did open it up already, just so I can cover up any potentially doxing information. So first, it's the big business card agreement rates and fees table. So if you remember in my watch me apply video, I somehow got the lowest possible APR rate of 17.74% which isn't really a big deal, of course, because we within the credit card world would never carry a balance month to month, but it's still a great thing to have just in case. It also mentions that I'll have a 0% fixed a intro APR for the first 12 months, even if I do carry a balance, so that's great as well. It also mentions here that the annual membership fee for the Business Inc. Unlimited is $0.00. Next is the business card agreement. Not much to talk about here. It's just a pamphlet of all the rules I have to abide to and descriptions and definitions of certain terms. Next, it's the pamphlet welcoming me to my Inc. Business Unlimited credit card. And within it, it highlights things like unlimited 1.5% cash back for every purchase I'll ever make on this card. It also has no annual fee and has zero liability protection, purchase protection, fraud protection, and auto rental collision damage waiver. Next, it's a piece of paper talking about who Chase shares your personal information with. And finally, it's a guide to benefits pamphlet where it describes in detail all of the protection benefits the Inc. Business Unlimited gets you, which is auto rental collision damage waiver, baggage delay insurance, extended warranty protection, lost luggage protection, purchase protection, and travel accident insurance. And finally, let's unveil my first ever business credit card. It's got this nice grayish coloring to it that is super reflective, kind of shiny. I personally like the way the ink part shines from the rest of the card. And on the top right, you see the business unlimited. Top left is the Chase logo with the Visa logo. It's also really shiny and adds signature business underneath. And then my name and my name plus my middle name on the bottom left. Because if you watch my Watch Me Apply video, I mentioned that I applied for this business credit card without having an actual business to my name. And so when it asked me to write down a name for my business, I just wrote my name down twice. I'm a little bit caught off guard that the Business Inc. Unlimited doesn't come in metal form that I assumed all business credit cards came in, but I have to admit I have been a little bit spoiled by the whole metal card craze. And when I applied for this card, it had the historical max sign up bonus offer of 90,000 ultimate reward points after spending $6,000 within the first three months of account opening. And then with the new sign up bonus offer from the Chase Sapphire Preferred, another massive 90,000 point offer that's currently being only offered in branch. I'll complete the a little bit unorthodox, but still equally as effective, my Chase Trifecta. And speaking of the Chase Sapphire Preferred, let's switch over to the second half of this video and talk about the next two credit cards that I'll be getting in 2023. But also another credit card that I'm thinking about applying to, but I'll have to do a little more research on it. So for the first credit card that I'll be applying for, even though I just spoiled it a little moments ago, is none other than a Chase Sapphire Preferred. Adding a Sapphire credit card, whether it's a Chase Sapphire Preferred or the Chase Sapphire Reserve, would unlock Chase's crucial transfer partner list. And since I already have a high annual fee premium travel credit card with my Capital One Venture X, I thought to myself, at least for now, there was no reason to get the reserve, which has a $550 annual fee, and go for the mid-tier travel credit card, which is the Chase Sapphire Preferred. Plus, it definitely helps out in my favor, knowing that right now, there's a massive 90,000 alternate reward point offer 
being offered in Branch that will potentially be going online very soon, getting the Chase staff I preferred would mean that I would be completing my unorthodox but still equally effective Chase trifecta, guaranteeing me the most points possible when spending my hard-earned money. The typical Chase trifecta consists of the Chase Freedom Flex, Chase Freedom Unlimited, and the Chase Sapphire Preferred. But for my unorthodox trifecta, I'll be replacing the Chase Freedom Unlimited with its business counterpart. Essentially the same card that earns 1.5x on every dollar spent, like the Freedom Unlimited does, but without all of the other additional waste to earn categories, which ultimately I don't need because the Chase Freedom Flex has those waste to earn categories and I'll have the Chase Sapphire Preferred. This combo, once I complete the Preferred and the Business Unlimited's sign up bonus offers, plus the 92,000 points that I have with my Chase Freedom Flex, would net me a massive 270,000 plus points that I can then use on free travel with airline tickets and hotel bookings. The other credit card that I'll be applying for once I have the Chase Sapphire Preferred is none other than the Capital One Saver One credit card. Similar to the Chase Trifecta, Capital One has something similar too, but with one less card to worry about. Like I mentioned previously, I already have the Capital One Venture X credit card, which helps me earn all of my points in regards to flights, hotels, and car rentals, as well as being an amazing flat rate points back credit card with this 2x on everything for purchases that I'll ever make. And including the Saver One Internet Mix, completes my Capital One Duo. With its 3x back on dining, grocery stores, entertainment, and select streaming services, as well as 8% cash back on Capital One Entertainment purchases, as well as its 10% back on Uber Rides and Uber Eats, as well as a free Uber One membership that gets me even more benefits when I use Uber. And here's a screenshot of every category that the Capital One Duo earns points back in, earning me 10x back on hotels, 10x back on car rentals, 10x back on Turo, 5x back on flights, 3x on dining, 3x on restaurants, 3x on entertainment, 3x on select streaming services, 8x on Capital One Entertainment, 10x on Uber purchases, and then 2x back on every other purchase. And here's a screenshot of every category that my Chase Trifecta will help me earn points back in. 5x back on travel via Chase's travel portal, 2x back on all other travel, 3x back on dining, 3x back on online groceries, 3x back on select streaming services, 5x back on rotating categories, 3x back on drugstore purchases, 5x back on lift rides, and then 1.5x back on all other eligible purchases. And a final screenshot of everything my potential 5 card setup will be in my wallet once I've completed both FECTAs in both credit card ecosystems. Moving on, let's talk about that questionable credit card that I'll, I may or may not be applying to once I completed my Chase credit card ecosystem and my Capital One credit card ecosystem. And that's the Built MasterCard. Heard of it before? Well, you probably have because a lot of credit card YouTubers in the past month have covered this credit card. And if I'm being honest here, are making some pretty convincing points. The Built MasterCard, I believe, is the only credit card on the planet possible right now that allows you to pay rent and earn points at any apartment without paying the transaction fees. Meaning that grimy 3% transaction fees that are typically attached to credit card payments for rent transactions is waived. Additionally, you earn 1x points on rent payments up to 50,000 points each calendar year, which I don't know about you is pretty insane. My portion of rent within a two bedroom apartment is roughly $1,000, but since I paid the entirety of the rent fully and have my roommate Venmo me their portion, this guarantees 2,000 built points every single month. Additionally, the built MasterCard also earns 2X points on travel and 3X points on dining and have something called double points day on the first day of each month, which allows you to earn 6X points on dining, 4x points on travel, and then 2x points on everything else. Aside from being able to earn points from paying rent every single month, Bill also has a pretty extremely competitive transfer partner list. Notice anything in particular? That's right, the World of Hyatt and United Airlines partners. Two transfer partners that help Chase and American Express 
be as competitive as they are. Right now, I'm still looking over all of the benefits that it provides and seeing whether or not it would fit my credit card setup. If you have the Bill MasterCard, make sure to comment in the comment section down below about why you decided to get the credit card for yourself. And with that all being said, just to wrap up this video, I will be applying for the Chase Sapphire Preferred and then the Capital One Saver One credit card in 2023 with maybe applying for the built MasterCard later on this year. The Chase Sapphire Preferred will help me complete my Chase Trifecta, and the Saver One credit card will help me complete my Capital One Duo. And then after that, I don't really know what other credit card that I'll be applying for. Maybe you guys can give me some suggestions. Thank you for watching as always. Stay safe out there, everyone. Peace. Those of you out there that are new to the channel, hi, my name is Eric. I generally talk about everything credit card related, but more recently I've been making videos on broader financial topics, such as these videos right here. The main goal for this channel is to provide informational and meaningful financial related content that everybody everywhere can enjoy. So again, if you'd like to support that dream, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And with that, thank you for watching as always. Until next time, everybody, stay safe out there. Peace.